Lesson 13.8, organizing coordinate proofs. So why I always say is don't let this, the title scare you. A lot of people say, oh, proofs, oh, here we go again. These proofs are paragraph proofs. They're actually not even that. They're just mathematical ramblings that make sense. It doesn't sound good, but that's the best I got. Um, this would be a proof for solving 2x minus 3 equals 1. Uh, you don't have to write the reason. You would just say plus 3 on both sides, 2x equals 4, divide by 2, x equals 2. That's a proof. You showed your steps. I can follow it. It makes sense. You can plug it back in and check. So that's, that's a proof. First things first, what can you say about the midpoint of the hypotenuse of a right triangle? And I'm hoping you remember that it breaks into three pieces that are all congruent. So how do we prove this? Well, we said, oh, it's just a half a rectangle. We know that the diagonals bisect each other. Therefore, it works. Now, let's do it with coordinate geometry. And this lesson is just about setting things up, and I actually do a lot of that for you. A little trouble drawing straight lines today. There we go. So the right triangle. Now, if I put numbers in, I'll prove it works for those numbers, but that's not going to prove for everything. So we put letters in. We'll call this... 0 comma b because what we've done is set it up on the coordinate plane this of course is at the origin so it's 0 0 and this is some random a 0 so we have a right triangle the origin is at the right angle and then we don't know what it is up so we just give it some random letter B. We don't know what it is over. We give it some random letter A. What do we want to prove? We want to prove this midpoint. And we know it's the midpoint because we're saying that is equally distant from all three. So we're going to need distance formula. But first we got to do midpoint. What's the midpoint? of 0 comma b and a comma 0. Well, that one's actually pretty easy. It's just 0 plus a over 2, b plus 0 over 2, which I'll plug in here. It's a over 2 b over 2. So no matter what kind of right triangle I have, if I go over b and I go, uh, pardon me, a and I go up b, the midpoint will be a over 2, b over 2. If I put it in this right spot on the coordinate plane, if I put it somewhere else, it'd still be the midpoint, but it'd be really complicated to have to add two things together. And then when I do the distance formula, it'd be very challenging. So we have three chunks here. We have this chunk, I want to use a different color for this. We have this chunk. We have this chunk. And we have this chunk. All three of those should be the same distance from each other. So we have coordinates for each one. Why not just use the distance formula? And we will. Let's do the easier ones first. Number one. Square root. I'm going to use these points first. A over 2 minus 0 squared plus B over 2 minus 0 squared. Square root A over 2 squared plus B over 2 squared. And we recently had a quiz 
And that was good enough. You could stop there. I'm going to leave some space. I have this funny feeling we're going to need more room because we should get three lanes that are just like that for one, two, and three. And that will prove, since all three of them are the same with just random letters, the theorem we're going for, which is the median of a right triangle from the 90-degree angle, splits it in half, and is the same length itself. So let's try number two. I'm going to put two down here again to leave some space. Big square root. Let's do the a over 2 first. a over 2 minus a squared plus b over 2 minus 0 squared. a over 2 minus a is a little bit of algebra, but nothing too serious. It's 2 over 2. So it's negative a over 2 squared. plus b over 2 squared. And I left some room because I thought I might have to multiply this out, and I do because i got to get rid of that negative. It won't look exactly the same. I'm going to leave it like this. I could combine those 4s and then pull them out because you can take the square root of 4, but I don't think I need to. I might, but we'll find out. So this one I got to keep going to a squared over 4 plus b squared over 4. So far so good. Green and purple at the bottom look the same. Now we got to do the orange. Shocking, and I know you'll have trouble believing this. Goodness gracious. Use the top one. Yes, they are all the same. That's called the coordinate geometry proof. This freaks people out because they're combining their two worst fears, fear one being geometry and fear two being algebra. So you have to be pretty good and you can't make silly mistakes like saying that the square root of a squared plus b squared is a squared plus B is A plus B. That is not true. Please don't do that. Makes me crazy. So this is just organizing the proofs, which means pick a nice coordinate plane and then see what the other points will be. So you're not going to do all this until the next lesson. But I wanted to show you where we're going. So I've gotten you started. We want to mess with a rectangle. We're not actually going to mess with it. But if we were to do it, I gave you some letters, or the rhombus, or an equilateral triangle. I gave you a bunch of the letters. See if you can fill out the rest based on where they have to be. And this is hard enough before you've even done the proof. I think the proof part's easier. So we're just organizing it, getting it started. So pause recording, give it a shot. And now I'll do it. Well, this is straight up from A, so... This distance is A. This distance is negative A. This distance is B. And this is on the x-axis, so it's 0. Rhombus. The length of a side is C. Or you could do a squared plus b squared square root, but that's kind of ugly. This, of course, is the origin. This, is, of course, is on the x-axis, so the y value is 0. And this is all the way up at b. And this is a plus c. That's a. That's c. That's a plus c. Notice we're not manipulating this. We're not doing a proof. We're not saying, oh, all the sides are the same, therefore I'll prove it. Now this, it's a rhombus, so the diagonals are perpendicular. We're not doing any of that. Not yet. And an equilateral triangle. Well, we put it on the origin. And then we went over a certain distance, but I don't know what that distance is. So I got to think about it. It's equilateral, so I could do a square root of a squared plus b squared. That's nah, too complicated. There's got to be a better way to do that. 
Well, if I'm not mistaken, oh, and by the way, I can put a zero in here, no question. That distance is A, and it's equilateral, so that distance is also A. So this is just 2A. That's it. That's it. A lot of people are very confused by this. And of course, like everything else, it takes a little practice, but that's it. So go do some practice, and then we'll go do some actual proofs where you got to place the letters and do a bunch of math to prove that all the sides are the same length. For example, we'd have to prove that if this is 2A, then this is 2A, and so on and so on and so on, which might be a little tricky. We'll get there. Good luck.